My name is Michelle Ashby. I was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer in December of 2009. And at the time of diagnosis, I was diagnosed stage four. And I became involved with Gateway. They had a trial that they had funded, mammoglobin A vaccine trial, and I was a candidate for that. So I enrolled in the study and um, took the medications and they were very effective for me and I'm still here in 2015. The trial that I participated in was a trial that um, Dr. Naughton, my physician, his colleague, was actually the principal investigator of the, of the trial and he thought that it would be a good fit for me, that I would be someone that might benefit from the trial. Prior to my treatment, I was certainly very fatigued, very weak, um, unable to have a lot of exposure to the general public because of risk of becoming uh, very ill and hospitalized. And since I've had my treatment, I'm, I'm much back to my normal thing, you know, taking the kids to the park, certainly being able to go on vacations with them, spend time with them, you know, out on the boat, um, you know, on the lake, and certainly just enjoying everyday things. Before when I was very ill, just something just as simple as helping my daughter braid her hair or playing Barbies with her, or, you know, for my son, wrestling on the floor. I would have never, when I was, was ill before treatment, I would never have even begun to attempt playing on the floor with them out of fear I would hurt myself worse or I would become even more sick. And my children at that time were one and three. And the fact that now they are seven and eight and I am still here is just huge to me that that could occur. And, and my physician actually at home is very pleasantly surprised as well. When he sees me, he just, he can't believe how well I'm doing. And that's exciting that knowing that some of the treatment that I got somewhere along the road in there, all those treatments put me here and present. And you know, my children, as opposed to when they're one and three, would have limited memories of me. Now I know no doubt that I've made an impression upon them. I would say to anyone that can donate to any of the trials that are out there that just certainly um, look at the importance of the phase one and phase two trials specifically, because those are the ones that are often neglected. They, they don't have the, the glitter and the glitz of the trials that are on the end of the road that are proven to be successful. But you never know when the trials in a phase one or phase two, that that could be the golden ticket, that that could be the one.